In this lesson, we use the forward and backward scan on a network to determine the critical path. Here is a network showing the times to complete the tasks in a project. We start the forward scan by filling the numbers in the left half of each circle. We always start with a zero in the left of the start node. To complete the forward scan, we write the longest path to each node. Task A takes three minutes, so zero plus three equals three, which we write here. Following task C, zero plus 10 equals 10. Now to get to this node, we have a choice of two paths. We write the longest path. We have three plus two, which equals five, or zero plus seven, which equals seven. Seven is the largest number and gets to go in the node. To get to this node, we have three plus four equals seven, or seven plus two equals nine. We write nine in the node. Three plus seven equals 10. Here we have 10 plus three equals 13, nine plus two equals 11, or 10 plus two equals 12. 13 gets to go in this node. 13 plus five equals 18. Finally, we have a choice of 10 plus nine equals 19, 13 plus 10 equals 23, or 18 plus four equals 22. 23 goes in this final node. Having completed this forward scan, we can see that the minimum completion time of the project is 23 minutes. The minimum completion time is always the longest path through the network. The other shorter tasks can be completed while we wait for these longer tasks to be completed. Now we do the backward scan by entering this minimum completion time of 23 minutes in the right side of the final node. In the backward scan, we subtract the numbers on each edge and write the smallest number in each node. 23 minus four equals 19. To get to this node, we have 23 minus 10 equals 13. 19 minus five equals 14. But this must be written on the outside by task M because only the smaller number gets to go in the node. Here we have 13 minus three equals 10 or 23 minus nine equals 14. 10 gets to go inside the node while 14 goes outside by task K. Now 13 minus two equals 11. 13 minus two equals 11 also goes here. 11 minus two equals nine. Here we have a choice. 10 minus seven equals three. We can write three in already because it matches the number on the left of the node. 11 minus four equals seven and nine minus two equals seven. Here, three minus three equals zero, which we can also write in because we know the starting node must contain two zeros. Nine minus seven equals two, and 11 minus 10 equals one. The backward scan is now complete. The critical path is found where the left and right numbers in each node are equal. That is from 00, zero to 33, three, 
to 10, 10, to 13, 13, to 23, 23. That is A, D, J, L. These four tasks are critical tasks, which means that they must be completed immediately to avoid delaying the overall completion time of the project. To see how delays to other tasks affect the completion time, we look at the slack time. This is equal to the right number subtract the left number in each node. For example, task G is here. We look at the node before task G. We have 9 take away 7 equals 2 minutes. This means that G can be delayed for 2 minutes without delaying the overall completion time. So if G is delayed by 10 minutes, 2 minutes delay is OK, but the remaining 8 minutes will be added on to the project, so it will be completed in 31 minutes. The slack time for E is 7 minus 3 equals 4. This time we used the 7 on the outside of the node. If there is a number on the outside of the node, we use this. If E is delayed by 2 minutes, the project is not delayed because we have up to 4 minutes of slack time. Here is another network. We start our forward scan with a 0. 0 plus 2 equals 2. This dotted line is a dummy link. It does not take any time to travel down this edge. So to get here, we have 0 plus 5 equals 5. Or 2 plus the dummy link of 0. 5 is the larger number. Here we have 0 plus 6 equals 6, or 5 plus 3 equals 8. 2 plus 4 equals 6. Here we have 6 plus 4, 2 plus 5, or 8 plus 3. 8 plus 3 equals 11 goes inside. 6 plus 1 equals 7. 11 plus 3 equals 14. Finally, 7 plus 8 equals 15. 11 plus 10 equals 21. Or 14 plus 4 equals 18. 21 goes in. The minimum completion time is 21. For the backward scan, 21 goes in the final node. 21 minus 4 equals 17. 21 minus 8 equals 13. Here 21 minus 10 equals 11 goes inside, and 17 minus 3 equals 14 goes on the outside. Here we have 11 minus 4 equals 7, or 13 minus 1 equals 12. 7 is smaller, so goes inside, and 12 goes on the outside. 11 minus 3 equals 8. 8 minus 3 equals 5. Here, 7 minus 4 equals 3. 11 minus 5 equals 6. And 5 would be 5 minus 0 equals 5. 7 minus 4 equals 3 gets to go inside. 6 goes on the outside. No number is needed on the outside of the dummy link. Here, 5 minus 5 equals 0 goes inside. 3 minus 2 equals 1. And 8 minus 6 equals 2. The critical path is found by joining the nodes where the numbers are the same. 0, 0, 
to 55, to 88, to 11, 11, to 21, 21, is B, D, E, K. The slack time for M is 13 minus 7 equals 6 minutes. Therefore, if M is delayed by 6 minutes, the project is not delayed. The slack time for J is found by subtracting the number on the outside, 14 minus 11 equals 3 minutes. Therefore, if J is delayed by 5 minutes, 2 minutes delay is fine, but the other 3 minutes will be added on to the completion time to make 23 minutes. Visit mathsathome.com for further videos and practice.